Hey guys, it's going on the space here, and we are back in the Legend of Korra game. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. So we are on episode 4, I believe. I think that's right, episode 4. And uh, we are on chapter 4. And as you see... There you go. Cool. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna try out this skin. It's the equalist uh, disguise skin. So, yeah, let's try it out. And uh, if you guys have the game, I'll. Uh, oh, hold on. Alright, well, like I was saying, if you guys have the game and you want the codes, I'll put uh, it in the description below. The two, two codes for the uh, two skins that you can unlock. You can unlock this skin and the spirit skin using codes. The other two you have to unlock by basically just playing the game. So yeah. So uh, last time I said I would be talking about the last Airbender movie today, and I will. But uh, first, see where we're trying to go. Oh, there we go. Oh, red guys, huh? All right. What do these guys do? Okay. Nobody knows. Let's fight these guys first before we do anything. Ooh. Oh, just normal equals. You serious, bro? Dude, I'm on your side. Look, 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 look at my outfit. Oh. Bye bye. Oh, you miss. Ha. What was he doing there? Is he like. I don't know what that was. <laughs> hey, buddy. Get wrecked. And then where's the other guy? Can't see him. Ah, oh, there he is. Ow. Oh. Really learn how to counter. <laughs> Just plain simple C, but I mean, I suck at it in this game. Stop jumping around. Just die. Thank you. Alright, so, uh, remember that we are only, only rock to, uh, water bending right now because they took away our bending partially. And we got it back through that magic water in uh, Air Temple Island. So yeah, I assume they want us to go this way because of all the, ow, parkour stuff. Whoa. All right, so the last Airbender movie, if you guys have seen it, then uh, yeah. You know, it's different from the series, fairly different, I might add, from the series. So uh, I'm gonna talk about that today. Like uh, basically what was different if you've only seen the movie, um, what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it is a lot of what I didn't like about it, but it was still still an R.A. movie, I guess. So, uh, yeah, let's start off with, uh, basically what the movie is. So, it is book one of, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. And, uh, yeah, so what was different in the movie that was different than the series? Well, they did not have the Kiyoshi Warriors, that was one of the big parts, and they play an important role. So if uh, M. Night Shyamalan, hopefully he does not want to do another one, but if he does ever do another one, that's going to majorly mess him up once he introduces them in the, uh, the sequel. But I hope he doesn't do that, because that would be terrible. Do not make another one, M. Night Shyamalan, if you're listening to this. And, um, they just skipped some other stuff as well. Um, hmm, let me think. I haven't seen the movie that recently. It's been... I don't know, probably a, a year, maybe. <laughs> but, uh... Another thing... Uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll get to that later. But, uh... Hmm. Just some of the stuff was different. Uh, it didn't really change too much, but the Avatar test thing, if you remember that, where uh, Iroh, or as they pronounce it in the show, or in the movie, Iroh, uh, uses the, uh, like, fire, earth, like, a stone, water, and some air thing i don't remember what the air thing was but uh you know like puts him in front of ang to see if he's the avatar and like the stuff starts moving and stuff and yeah that wasn't in the show that was that's kind of weird actually it's kind of cool but it's still weird all right what am i supposed to do am i supposed to jump on those i hope not because i don't think i can make that no all right i don't think i'm supposed to anyway oh more motorcycle dudes Alrighty, so, uh, oh. 
That that went bad. Hmm. All right. So what else? So what I liked about the movie, I'll talk about that first, since there's not like too much, not as much as the what I disliked about it. Um, what I liked about it is the effects are really cool. I like that. Um, what else? Well, Zuko was actually pretty good. Not gonna lie, in the movie, he was pretty good. He's probably the best actor in the movie. <laughs> And, uh, hmm. I guess his overall story was alright. Even though they skipped stuff that I would have liked to see, but, you know. Like, uh, King Boomy, they skipped that too, that's pretty important. They skipped some important stuff, and they also, uh, basically took out the humor of it. That's not one. That was a really bad idea. Because it was barely any, like, any joke, actually. There was no jokes or anything. It's just pretty much just serious, the whole movie. Uh, unlike the show where you have uh, Sokka messing around and stuff like that, which uh, is very nice. Also nice to see some serious stuff in the show, but I mean, it's funny, so, and, yeah. Um, so things that I disliked about the movie. Well, first off, the names, they mispronounce them pretty badly, for some of them, at least, thanks to... Um, City. Once the plants took over, the people evacuated. Yeah, anyways, thanks to M. Night Shyamalan, he said that's that is how they, well, he pronounces it, I guess. Even though, I mean, you watch the show and you can obviously hear what what it sounds like because it says their names multiple times. Like, uh, Soka, that's how they pronounce it in the movie, and, uh, Iro, uh, Ang. Stuff like that, it's just, just a little annoying, to be honest with you. But I mean, it doesn't like completely destroy the movie, but... And uh, another thing, of course, they skipped out some important parts and just plain and simple really parts that I would have liked to see and other fans probably would have liked to see as well. Like uh, King Boomy, if I would have been cool. The Kyoshi Warriors, of course. Uh, I don't remember what Zhao was like in the movie, but I don't think he was really, like, that big in the movie. Even though in the show, yeah, he's not a main character or anything, but he is he's kind of big. Until, uh, yeah, he gets wrecked by the water spirit. <laughs> yeah, this game is really fun, by the way, if you're wondering. I should recommend it if you're a core fan. And, uh, it's not too hard in the computer. As you see, it runs very smoothly on my computer, so... My computer's not like brand new and like super, super beefy. Still a pretty good computer though. I like it. And uh, anyways, back to the topic at hand. Ah, triple fret triad again. Oh boy, where did these guys come from? Weren't they just on Air Temple Island? Oh, well, then again, wasn't I just on there too? I'm gonna die because I, I don't have a lot of health. Do not fight. The water guy is actually the weakest. What, what? How did I? Oh, right. Ah. Yeah, despite, uh, like, really, what is actually true to the series, the water guy is actually probably the weakest guy. The earth bender is definitely the strongest. The fire guy, he's not too hard to take out, but it's the earth guy that you gotta watch out. He's just, he's just crazy. It appears as though they've gotten a lot harder than I when I fought them. Water guy is still weak though. <laughs> That's good news. Alright, uh, I'm gonna pause talking about uh, stuff and we're just gonna focus on this part because this part is probably not going to be too easy. Which is the stupid earth thing again. All you have to do really is to just dodge his attacks and save him. Either take him out right at the beginning or just save him for last, which is what I do because uh, I don't really care. Just gotta dodge his attacks a little bit. But taking him out first would probably make the most sense considering he's the biggest threat here. But, uh, yeah. And by the way, I'll be trying out the spirit skin probably next episode or the, when we get a chance to change our skin. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I still have one of those. Good. I need those. <laughs> See, the uh, fire guy is barely doing anything. It's the earth guy. It's, it's just so darn annoying. Gosh. 
Oh, he's actually doing something right now. Cool. It seems as though they take turns fighting, so uh, that's something to keep in mind. Oh crap! I didn't take the thing. I'm not giving up. Oh well. All right, we can do this again. All right, I'm just gonna con concentrate and try not to pronounce stuff right. So. <laughs> Uh, let's see, where's the triad? Oh, it's not here yet. Okay. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, we can take out these guys and talk. So, uh... Another thing that, uh... This, the movie kind of ruined was, uh... You know how he never really shows what uh, Ozai looks like until the very end? Well... It's like a big reveal, basically, which I thought was really well done. But in the movie, they just straight up just show him, and it's like, whoa, hold on there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. Yeah. We don't have that many health potions left. I think we only have one, so we gotta use it wisely. And by wisely, I mean use it right now and try not to say, hey, that's a cheap shot there, buddy. Supposedly, I haven't, like, really read up on this game much. But uh, it's always interested me. Interested me. Yeah, yeah, just wonder. But uh, supposedly there's a point where you can go into the avatar state, which sounds pretty darn good right now, so. What's up this purple stuff? Alright. I really gotta focus. This is really bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, there you go. I better go to the shop and buy some stuff. Yeah. Sorry if I'm not the best at this game, but it is still. I still don't really play this that often because I can't because uh, I have to record every time I play and I can't like record like, you know, like a ton. I would though. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Alright, supposedly these things are very interesting. Hmm. Alrighty. Thank you. Come again. No, no, thank you, Iro. Right, Time let's to see. get serious. Yep, it is. I don't think these will automatically go into. Yeah, okay. That's fine, I guess. We can do this. Alright. This part's really easy. <laughs> The thing we might want to do is not take damage, so... Ah, crap. Well, uh... <laughs> never mind. Wait, I healed myself. How did I do that? I don't think I healed myself, actually. But, uh... There you go. That guy can't even hurt us, so... There you go. Okay. Let's do this, boys. You missed your baby. Alright, I'm gonna try to take out the offender first. I'm gonna be quiet, because I need to... Alright, I'm gonna pause it actually. Oh. Can enter. I'm gonna try that. Quick, we're gonna test that out quickly before I pause it. Just press enter during gameplay, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Alright, we definitely need to equip stuff here. Alright, it should be good to go now. I'm not going to pause it then, since we are able to do this. If I die one more time, then I will pause it, so we can uh, save some time. Alright, anyways. Let's go and get him. Yeah, alright, let's do this. Alright, let's try not to take damage this time. I'll take out the red guys first, because the red guys, of course, are the biggest threat. Because the blue guys just tie us up, and, uh... Yeah, when they do that, basically, the red guys would get us right away, so we just want to do that. 
And uh, you? Oh crap. Oh. Try to dodge that. No. No. Alright. You're stupid. I'm just gonna break this. If there's something in here, that helps. Oh. Oh, apparently those can hurt us. Alright. We take a direct hit from them, we can. Alright. Oh, there you go. It's the water thingy that does it. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Pardon the escape thing, I forgot to put myself offline, that's alright. <laughs> I'll do that. No, <laughs> here. Ah, oh, crap, this is bad. I might want to take one of this area. That's very rude right there, man. What's going on? Why can't I do that again? There you go. Ow. Hey man, hold on there. I think that's fair. Oh boy. Alright, come on, they're so close to dying. Just gotta kill them. Oh boy. I can do this, I can do this, I swear. Ah. I still get this. Alright, I'm gonna pause it and uh, we'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I got two of them down. I've just got the Earth guy left. And uh, he's just dancing around, I guess. I got something from the shop that was pretty nice, so, uh, yeah. That helped a lot. <laughs> that gives, like, an energy boost or something. I forgot what it does exactly, but it, uh, it helped a lot. Ha! Get wrecked. I did it. Yes. Alright, now I just gotta worry about these moves. Let's do this. Yeah, there you go. This didn't take too long. It took me, uh, three tries, maybe. Alright. One second, please. Alrighty. Alright, so, there you go. Okay, zoom. Alright, let's see what happens next. So I've got that, uh, woo glowiness around me, is because I used that thingy. It helped a lot. Alright, let's see. Now that I defeated the triad, I think I need to get up over here. And, let's see. Alright, here we go. Oh man, this was just normal. Can you imagine what I would have to do in uh, Extreme, which I will have to do someday, so... Because there's a certain skin that you can only unlock during uh, that, during finishing Extreme, so I'm going to do that. But uh, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> well, I mean, it will be fun, but it will... <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I forgot how much damage I did fighting Unalok. I've got to get these products.
Dang, that's a lot of damage. Oh, so this does take place after, uh, uh, the, uh, finale of the second season. So, that's cool. It's wondering why all the spirit vines are there, but I guess it makes sense now. Oh, anyways, last airbender move. I almost forgot. Um, I don't know what else to say. I can't really think of anything right now, but all in all, it was an okay movie, so. Definitely not good for fans, though, like myself. <laughs> As a movie person, I thought it was alright. That's right, deal with it, scumbag. I've got a new moves too, it's like this. Yeah. But this guy thinks he's so cool. Uh huh. Oh! In there. Something interesting is going on here. Oh, is that seriously it? Are you just, just a bunch of. Just, just a bunch of equals? Sorry. I'm fine with that. Oh, jeez. Ow. I'm actually going to take one of these because I'm low on health from that fight. So yeah, these guys are pretty easy to beat up. I can handle this. <laughs> this is the triple threat triad. Isn't easy. Hopefully I'll get good at the game eventually though, so it will be easier. Oh cool, you can go up here, that's very nice. Ow. Ooh. Alright. I don't think you can counter those, but you can break them in midair, so that's good. I see look how weak these guys are. Well, bam! Alright, and, uh. Oh. Awesome, that went well. Let's do more parkour. That was really close, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if I do more parkour or not, but... Yeah, it looks like it, alright. Is there a way to climb up this? No. Alright. Let's see, where do I go from here? Hmm. <laughs> alright, so that's it. She can jump really high, so... You jump on anything up here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, that was cool. Apparently, if you're close enough, it just allows you to jump there, so that's cool. Alright, oh. It's pretty dangerous, not gonna lie. Oh, oh. Oh, what? What? It's the purple stuff, man. Am I not supposed to go this way? That's interesting. So where do I go? I mean, I parkour over there, so... Hmm. Maybe on the roof, if there's a way to... Oh, wait, what about over here? Oh. Oh, no, that's not going Hmm. I have to figure out where I need to go. Huh. Alright, well, I think I'm going to pause it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, uh, and we'll be playing another episode. We're going to continue off right after here, so I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.